On the 12th day of Christmas, on the gift for me, 12 video TVs, 11 lights, 10 right plants, 9 spotlights, 8 flash drives, 7 headsets, 6 awesome presents, 5 golden plants, 4 stations, 3 Christmas stockings, 2 new thinkers, and the key to a great broadcast. On the next day of Christmas, you'll find that out tomorrow, so... Russia's recently finished a fighter jet. What could this mean for the rest of the world? Tsunamis, they have a history of destroying many cities. Five years ago, a tsunami brought a city down to nothing but remains. Last of Us and Star Wars. I'll be talking about that in my You Hurt Here report. Everyone's saying to stop doing my puns, but I won't because I don't see the punishment. So today's gonna be a punderful day. Just <laughs> Only basketball for today. Let's see how long my report is. We'll be back with that and more on the other side of the Welcome back from the break. Now it's time for it. It's not play-by-play. There are only a couple days left to get your bucks to $39. This deal lasts until the end of the month. Before they go up to $49 on January 1st. You can order online or in room 205. Let's check out the Tetzloff calendar. This week is Holiday Spirit Week. Today is Tetzloff Apparel. Tomorrow is Christmas Apparel. And Friday is no school and the start of winter break. Now it's time for the Tetzloff play-by-play. Here's another prank. This is why I take the stairs. You never can be too careful when it comes to anything. Test your light. <laughs> Finish him! Oh, come on, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Finish her! Did you know that FoosieTube has over 9 million subscribers? That gives us a tough play by play. We'll see you after the break. Hey, Jacob, where'd you get that water? Oh, I just got it from the studio store. What kind of stuff do they have in there? In the studio store, we have some food, something good that you can chew. We have some good popcorn. If that's not enough, you can use that more. If you're thirsty, drink that water. If you're thirsty, good. The is hotter. You get a packet for free. Go try it yourself if you don't believe me. Mechanical pencils. If you need to write. You can keep them all day and all night. You should be satisfied at the studio store when you walk in the door store. Oh! Today's 
is on topic. The 2018 Panamera is going to Porsche's first luxury car. It takes seven seconds to go up to 60 miles per hour. It comes with a V8 engine with 440 horsepower. Porsche's current Panamera, the turbo version, is not as luxurious, but it is fast as this Pan Panamera. It goes from zero to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, and its V8 engine has 550 horsepower. Russia has, fi has finally finalized and completed their testing on the new stealth fighter jet. The plane was first built in 2010 and is now per perfected and revealed to the public. The Russians have a name for it, for it, the T-50 stealth fighter and is one of the Cedar twin engine planes. The engine, cost, co the engine cost of the plane is around $5 million. Russia can't $50 million. $50 million. Thanks, James, for correcting me. Russia claims to be faster, have superior maneuverability and longer mission duration than previous planes. The T-50 also has better weapons, like its 30mm cannon, which can now fire up to three types of bullets. It has also been seen as competition between the U.S. F-22, F-35, and China's brand new J-20 stealth fighter. In the near future, Russia hopes to mass produce the jet by 2017 and have a full fighter squad. All right, you heard it here with Jace. So what do you have for us today? Good morning, Jace. Good morning. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the, the possibilities for every Star Wars spinoff possible. So we got the Boba Fett movie. I wanna see that. We got all these other kinds of movies that we can see from the Star Wars franchise or Star Wars spin-off. Technically, that was a standalone film. And uh, it's also technically a prequel to the first one, but I'm excited for the rest of the Star Wars movies. Hopefully, that's not the last one. I know it's not. Also, Last of Us. The Last of Us Part 2 trailer. I kind of broke it down and thought about what each scene was about. And Ellie set talks about finding them all. Now, I think that is about the Fireflies, which if you played the last game, were the ones who captured her and tried to... Well, they they tried to kill her for the greater good to like because she had she was immune to the infection, but then to to make a cure, it's it's confusing unless you haven't played the game. And uh, and also, I predict, and I, I know it's not a good prediction, but I predict Joel is gonna die because you know every every person every uh, like no <laughs> known person knows that the main character dies in every sequel. So like, I hope he doesn't. If he does, that's gonna be very sad. But. I'm pretty sure he is. It's like soap in Modern Warfare 3. No one wanted him to die, but he did. Activision. Oh, all right, it's time for Jenna and her weather report. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Starting off in Tokyo, why is it getting cold? They will be seeing a low of 45 degrees. Moving to the other side of the map, all the way at the bottom, there will be Rio de Janeiro, that Rio will be seeing a low of 73 degrees. Slowly moving back up to the top, Los, it will be Los Angeles hot with 52 degrees. And all the way at the top, Anchorage will be seeing 16 degrees. Moving on to our highs, Tokyo will be seeing 67 degrees as a high. Moving all the way to the other side of the map, all the way at the top, don't Anchorage, that it's only 10 degrees in Anchorage. Slowly moving back down, Los Angeles will be seeing a high of 53, and all the way at the bottom in Rio de Janeiro, they'll be seeing a low of 94. In, 20, in 2011, a devastating storm hit a group of islands. It was Japan, a savage, a, a magnitude nine earthquake along the border of the group of islands. The waves took 21 hours to reach Japan, but they still weren't prepared. They sent $300 billion in repairs and are still going strong. What a blank day. What filled in the blank from yesterday? If you didn't get it, it's what a dabulous day. Don't forget to send in your holiday pics to Ungba Global. Now it's time to check out Sports with Jameson. Good morning. Um, well, Jenna didn't really make any puns about Tokyo, so that was good, but the Anchorage, no. Well, only back, well, the Cavaliers beat the Bucks, and the Celtics beat the Grizzlies. Well, only two games because of, I had to go to bed. And so all those games that were just playing like at halftime at nine o'clock, just play earlier. I mean, 
you have, they should make a thing like in Red Zone, how for football they should make it like, have like six games on one TV at once, that would be cool, right? Well, that's it for sports, time for the news. So how's everybody doing today? Hi, how are you? I'm also doing good, and Alyssa, who is our guest today? Today we have Claire Gonzalez, and she is the president at Artesia High School for the ATV broadcast show. So you tell us a little bit about your show? Okay, so I'm Clarissa Gonzalez. I'm a senior. Um, we reestablished ATV back in 2015. It went away for about five years, but um, we got a really great group of students and a new teacher who brought it back to life. Um, we have two branches in our broadcasting program, and one of them is ATV and another is AHS Report. ATV kind of focuses on building the creativity from the students in the class, so it's more of an entertainment type of show that we air once a month. While AHS Report is a show that we air twice a week, um, it takes all of homeroom, so it's about 15 minutes, and they cover, you know, school news and um, uh, club information, as well as just getting students informed about the campus. Wait, okay, that's cool. Yeah. So let's get on to the first news story. The 32-year-old new artist Jennifer Song Kim does water hand lettering. She is old. She's always loved seeing watercolors blended in paintings, so she decided to capture the same effect in her lettering. As Jennifer started this idea, she would put water in her paint to create fluid letters, and she would always start with light colors because the dark colors flow through the lighter ones when they touch. Jennifer discovered the discovered watercolor lettering at the age of 32. As she does this watercolor artwork, she reminds of young she reminds younger people that it's never too late to pursue something new. So is it better to start artwork at a younger age or an older age like her? Um, I think it would be, uh, that, it depends. Maybe I would think younger because you have more experience. I think you can start it at any age, honestly. It doesn't have to be young or old. You can start it at maybe if you're five or if you're 20. I feel like you can't really pinpoint when to start, but I think the best age would be when you're youngest because your brain's still developing and you can still grasp new ideas easier. Yeah. What about you, Matthew? Um, I think that art should be uh, actually started at a young age because um, as soon as you start art, um, you get used to uh, later on getting better at it. If you're and you learn that if you're interested or not interested in art. Okay, that's cool. So let's get on to the next story. There's been a new way to get a ridiculous of black heads and dirt between your pores. All you need is some activated charcoal and some school supply glue. Once those two items are well mixed together, you will apply even, evenly around the skin. When done applying, you will wait 25 minutes until the mixture is completely dry. After the mixture is dry, you will slowly peel off the mask. This mask removes dirt from pores and facial hairs. When done peeling off the mask, you will need to apply Mabel and Med Vitamin Serum. Those are all the steps you need to get a nice and clean natural face. So, what do you think will happen if something goes wrong? I think it will clog up your pores. It has, it's charcoal, it's black, it's basically dirt. It's not yeah. on your face. I think it's a little dangerous because you don't know what you're putting on there. It's just charcoal and school glue. And all those school glue is like non toxic. It still might not be good for your space. Yeah. It could like stick to it. I don't know. I think it's very creative. Um, it's easy if you want to pass time at home, but uh, I've seen a lot of people try to pull it off and it starts to hurt. So maybe some things aren't mm. supposed to be tried. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, that wraps it up for the news. It's time for a day segment where you show the world what they have. If you have seen America's Got Talent, then you know who the last two finalists were. Of course you know who Grace Vanderall is, but do you know the clairvoyettes? The clairvoyettes are Tommy Ten and Amelie Van Tag. A couple of, a couple from Australia. Australia. They are also second side acts, which means that Amelie is able to sense whatever is Tommy's hand. They brought it on stage and started touring Europe. They, they performed on America's Got Talent and stunned, the, judge, and stunned the, du the judges all of their auditions. So let's see what they can do. Every time when we perform, people think there must be something in Amelie's ears, like maybe a loudspeaker or something. So to verify that there is nothing hidden, check out my ears. If there are like antennas, earphones, no. whatever, maybe little, my left ear. A little malt, but that's it. 
<laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Please inspect this blindfold as well. I can take this for a second. And just make sure there is nothing inside, nothing hidden, no Wi-Fi, mm. flat screens, no. no? Or hold it against your eyes, just for a second. And just to confirm, can you see anything? Through it? Yes. No. Perfect. Now come to my right side and look for one or two objects out of your handbag and it feels like there's a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> Whatever you like and place it on my right hand. Hi, you already chose something. It's a small object, you can open it. I quite like this shade, it's lipstick. Okay, that's correct. Yes. There is a number on it. I quite like the shade. It's lipstick number 602. Is that correct? That is correct. What? That's amazing. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please look in your pockets, in your handbags, in your wallets for any objects, any items you brought with you tonight. Make it as difficult as you like. Hold them up. But do not say what it is. Yes, because that is my job. Let's start with this. That feels like a cell phone. So the color. It's white. The brand. iPhone. The provider. There must be AT&T. Uh, AT&T. Is yeah. correct? Oh, I was right. Nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> a big round of applause for Amelie. Thank you. Do you think that was amazing? Did you just see that? Simon, can you just have a look? There is like no camera in my sleeves. No. Nothing on my jacket, in my hair. No. All good? Yeah. Look again, any objects, any items. What about this one? You have something in your hand that there is liquid inside. I think these are kind of drops. No. Way. And I'm pretty sure those are eye drops. That is correct? That is absolutely correct. If you have a closer look, there is an expiring date on it. Oh. There's an expiration date? Uh, yeah. the expire... There must be May 2017. That is correct? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Amelie! Our viewers have tried to figure out Clairvoyant's secret. How do they do it? One viewer said that they do it all in Morse code since Amelie usually sits in a chair or is in some sort of seat. The viewers thought that when Tommy steps, taps his foot, it sends a Morse code to Amelie's seat. She then gets the message and gets the correct answer. Now everyone is asking how do they do it? Okay, Alyssa, now fill us in on the size of this week's ripple. Well again with us is Clarissa. Good morning, Clarissa. Good morning. So can you please read today's web for us? Of course. Cool. Uh, should parents be put in prison when their underage children commit a crime? Some of you said, no, because the kids should go to prison when they, and they would learn from their example in prison. Another fan said, yes, because parents should be responsible for their own kids in charge of them. To vote, visit us online at ungba.com. You can also send your vote and comment to us at Instagram at Ungba Global. So, what do you think, Clarissa? It's kind of tough. Um, I would say that the child should go only because at a certain point you do become responsible for your actions and they start teaching you that around age two. But I definitely don't think that a to toddler needs to be in prison because that doesn't really do anything. It really doesn't. Yes. Okay, now for Matthew. I will thank you, Alyssa. I don't know how a child could commit a crime, but... Alright, so who was the first president that decorated the Christmas tree in the White House? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Franklin Pierce, or Thomas Jeb Jefferson? Take five. Here, the 14th president was the first president to decorate the Christmas tree in the White House. Scientists and doctors have made a machine that can bring dead hearts to life. The machine is called Transmedics. The design of the device includes an oxygen supply and a pump that is used to maintain pulse rate flow warm, nutrient-rich blood to the organ. The Transmedic is designed to deliver nutrients and substance required to, to keep the transplant 
organ, healthy during the transport. At the core of the organ care system is the prefusion model. The serial chamber designed to protect the organ and maintain the appropriate warm temperature and humidity. The device will help doctors perform heart transplants by allowing intimate hearts to be transported over longer distances. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow.